This is a very special web chat with our guest, Mohammad Javad Larijani, Iran's top human rights official based in Geneva right now. Mr. Larijani, you heard the United States Secretary of State say that Iran was moving towards a military dictatorship. What do you think she meant by that? And is the Iranian Revolutionary Guard answerable to Ayatollah Khamenei? Well, uh, Iran uh, is the greatest, and not only the greatest, the only democracy in the Middle East. Mrs. Clinton's position is dubious, inconsistent, and naive. On the one hand, she is worried about democracy in Iran. On the other hand, she's offering the most uh, generous military help to states which even they don't run a single election. Which one we should believe, Mrs. Amanpour? Well, I just want to know, again, who is the uh, Iranian Revolutionary Guard answerable to? Well, they are legally answerable to all legal structures, which they should be. Uh, the, uh, the Revolutionary Guard is part of our defense system. Okay. They have a legal status. They are legal command. And they are legally answerable to parliament, okay. to leadership, to government, depending, and also to the judiciary. Okay. There is no difference One... between a member of the guard and a, any other citizen. Okay, we've yeah. got only a limited time left. I want to ask you to sum up. If you are the most powerful, or you, as you say, the only democracy, the Islamic democracy in the Middle East, why do you need to crack down on your intelligentsia? What are you afraid of from journalists, from writers, from human rights activists? Well, we are not definitely, not only we are afraid, we are trying to promote those ideas. But everything should be done within the structure of the law. We should, we should honor the rule of the law and the rules of the game of competition. Iran is, uh, is, is the greatest democracy, as I said, in the Middle East. We have every year one election. So we should definitely safeguard that, that uh, democratic system. It is an, an interesting, a very unique experience to build a polity on the Islamic rationality. Mr. Larijani, thank you so much indeed for joining us.